What's up guys, Antoine here at DPR. Today I'm showing you what we unlocked in the clown project. It's brand new. If you're ready, let's jump right in. Ta -da. So starting off with the pairing that produced this clutch, it was a very easy pairing, clown to clown. So all of the offsprings are 100% visual clowns. Uh, this male, we featured him on the channel a couple years ago when we did a breakdown on all of those genes. This is a Enshi Phantom Spot Nose Clown. Uh, we did that video, I think like two years ago or something. Um, he's now a full breeder at NBK Reptiles, uh, but this basically was the sire of that clutch. Really awesome interaction of genes. Still a cool looking adult. Uh, Phantom really helps keeping colors inside of this combo. That's the mother of the clutch. This is probably the most yellow clown I have ever seen in my entire life. And there's no pastel in it. This is a banana heterexanthic clown. For anyone who's not familiar with the heterexanthic gene, it's a gene that originated here in Canada from Kari Woods. This gene, although a little confusing when it comes to the naming, it's an incomplete dominant, although called uh, heterexanthic. Basically, this gene has a fairly exanthic looking super form with disruption of the pattern, but in clown, it makes them extremely bright. As you can see, uh, just a regular banana clown would never be as yellow as this. And she also has those very nice purples inside. Amazing looking animal. And oftentimes the heteroxanthic combos will have, uh, especially with clown, a fairly blank head and a very thick dorsal strip. Fresh reminder, this is not a baby from the clutch, but this is a single gene clown female. Uh, obviously clown recessive has a black dorsal with uh, patterns on the side that involves those classic teardrops. Teardrops are basically a little pattern that starts from the top, fades and has that uh, black outline um, around the pattern and oftentimes really busy sides. What we refer to also as the popcorn belly is these patterns here on the sides and the clowns also have that very visual head stamp that's different than the regular bands that we'll see from uh, you know anything that's not visual clown. Oftentimes also pretty nice patterns on the heat pits. So this is a single gene clown. Now we'll move on with the babies from the clutch. So here we have the phantom clown. Phantom made it much brighter than just a regular clown. It also affected the head stamp, made it more blank than the, the other one. Uh, highlighted that whole dorsal, created some very clean sides and those teardrops are extremely, extremely bright on that animal. So this is just a phantom clown. When you add spot nose to it, spot nose, which is a highly, highly patterned clown with a very recognizable head stamp. This is the phantom spot nose clown. So basically the phantom and the spot nose will interact having that very bright dorsal, those little sort of gems of patterns on top, almost like you have that very vivid colored dorsal with those patterns coming on top on the sides. Way more pattern with the spot nose than on the phantom. And spot nose will accentuate those teardrops and really make them really pixelated. On the phantom version, there's no black scales. And on the spot nose version, you'll see all the black scales in there. Um, so now the next step is taking the phantom and adding heterodexanthic. That was the other gene inside of that clutch. Um, so this is phantom heterodexanthic clown. Heterodexanthic being a dark mutation, you really enhances those dark colors. Make that as same as mom, make that very thick dorsal striping patterns only stuck to the sides and all closed up together. You have no more of those teardrops, but those patterns are now mostly like a little bit of a pattern there with some legs going down, but you don't have the teardrop connected all the way to the top. So also you have a much more blank head with heterodexanthic and phantom being together. Uh, this animal here has almost a completely brown head with that very, very thick pattern going from the dorsal all the way up to the head. So this animal here is not a baby from the clutch. This is from, uh, still from the same dad, but from, you know, another pairing. Um, this is not a visual clown. This is Enshi Phantom Spot Nose all together. This one's double head lavender clown. Um, it's just to show the interaction of those uh, three genes together without the clown. So both genes are working uh, on opposite directions, but they still blend together in a very nice way. Uh, so this is basically the same thing as the father, but without the visual clown. And I wanted to show you an animal we made. This one has yellow belly 
involved with it as well. So you'll see that the patterns on the side are way more accentuated, way more flamings on the entire animal um, than without the yellow belly. So obviously yellow belly, when it comes to adding it into combos, yellow belly will bring not only much more saturation, crispiness, uh, but you'll also have those crazy flames um, on the sides. This is really one of the effects of yellow belly that's very sought after in combos. So just keeping that in mind, when I'll show you the next combos that don't have yellow belly, uh, to keep in mind that adding yellow belly into it will create those crazy flames and that extra texture that we all love. So this here is obviously not a baby from that clutch because this is a sibling from the father. This is Enshi Spotnose Clown. I just wanted to show you this snake before because the next one are going to be with uh, Het Red Exantic added on top. Enshi and Spotnose, as I said before, they both fight a little bit for dominance. Enshi wanting to bend up the animal and really reduce the pattern and Spotnose trying to do the opposite. They blend in a very nice way because you still have the Spotnose uh, teardrops that are heavily on the side yet you still have very clean pattern and smooth out in the whole animal with very nice dorsal blotches from the Enshi. And you have that typical Enshi spot nose head stamp that really has two lines going across the skull of the animal. So one on this side, the other one around making that kind of a circle. This one has like a smiley face on top, it's pretty cute. Um, so this is Enshi spot nose clown. And the next one is adding um, basically heterodexantic on top. So this baby here is basically Enshi Spotnose Heterodexantic Clown. I personally have never seen this combo made before. So to me, it's still a word first, might not be, but this interaction is really awesome to me. Um, you gain from that Heterodexantic a complete dorsal pattern uh, where without the Heterodexantic, you just had like little splutches of pattern here and there. Now you have a solid stripe going through the entire animal. But the craziest part to me is those sides they are absolutely insane. Look at how much pattern we have on those sides, guys. Um, those teardrops are not going all the way to the top like this one here. Most of them are just like floating teardrops. They also have quite a bit of color. You have some like orange scales here and there uh, going into it. So this is really awesome. But the amount of pattern that we're getting from this combo to me is absolutely phenomenal. And that's where I'm saying that yellow belly will come into play like crazy in here. We all know what yellow belly and clown are doing together. They accentuate those teardrop like crazy, bringing in a lot of colors, uh, adding a lot of saturation inside of that pattern here. Um, so this is really what we want to see in the future. But this interaction alone is really cool. And we have also the all stacked animal. This one is with phantom added on top. So obviously this look is much brighter phantom creating a much more soft orange than that rusty brown that you have on the other one. It also did a little bit of an alteration of the pattern, more smooth out and round out alien heads, creating that really interesting pattern on the side. Uh, it almost looks like a melted cake on top. You know, like when you have some icing that's like dripping on the sides. This is what this uh, combo reminds me of. Really awesome interaction. And to think that these animals don't have yellow belly and yet they have that much pattern on the sides and they have Enshi and Spotnose together. It's absolutely insane to me. I think that this is probably some of the first Het Red Exantic clowns that really get me super excited for the project. I'm really, really curious to see in the future what we're going to do with it. Obviously, the cool thing is that we can uh, always add yellow belly and red stripe to accentuate side pattern. Unfortunately, we won't be able to make with this uh, palette a super heterodexantic version because heterodexantic and Enshi are allelic together. So these animals will never be able to recreate themselves just by being bred to a single clown. Obviously, everything is going to be either heterodexantic or Enshi. But this is, to me, really awesome palette to work with. Just imagine chocolate, how you could accentuate that dorsal striping and, and make everything much more smoother. So a few other babies from that clutch, uh, they're all carrying the banana gene. This one is a banana Enshi heterodexantic clown. It's interesting to have Enshi and heterodexantic because as I was saying before, Enshi also always tries to reduce the pattern on the animal, tries to bend everything up. And heterodexantic is basically fighting that off a little bit here. You have that little bit of a blank head with Enshi pattern trying to surround it. Uh, so this is fairly interesting to me. This is heterodexantic phantom banana clown. So just basically turning that whole uh, very dark 
snake with the banana into a purple animal um so this is basically only phantom added on top of uh the mother from that clutch the mother is so yellow i really am curious to see how phantom is going to interact with it last baby here is basically the all stacked animal from the clutch this is banana version of dad this is a banana and she phantom spot nose clown no heterexanthic so it's not basically the the whole stacked uh you have amazing colors also beautiful teardrops without the head red exantic those uh teardrops don't have really a lot of pattern into it they're really smooth really clean really awesome looking animal uh with phantom and she and spot nose obviously banana just makes everything so much better to me it's always so interesting when you venture into the unknown a little bit heterodexanthic in clown is not something that i have seen a lot of i think the potential is there i actually have a clutch cooking in the incubator right now uh with the possibility of making some super heterodexanthic so basically red exanthics red stripe yellow belly clowns uh obviously it's a long shot but if we're able to you know add some ingredients in there and adding the red stripe and the yellow belly there's a lot of con combos that have been made, obviously, but there's so much more left to do. Uh, when just seeing a back clutch, all the possibilities that are opening, there's so much we can do with it. Um, so let me know down in the comments where you would take that project and which one of those snakes was your favorite. And on this, be sure to check those animals. A lot of them are available on NBK Reptiles Morph Market page. The link will be down below. And on this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go uh, subscribe to our Instagram and check our own animals available on Morph Market. We'll see you soon. Cheers.